What's up guys, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use particle accelerators in Volts. And Volts is in the Technic mod pack, well the Technic launcher. I'll put a link in the description to the, the launcher. Very easy to install. So, this is Volts, as again I've just said. So, particle accelerators. You use these in volts to make antimatter, which is obviously one of them. Well, it's an instant LHC in the bottom to basically put it down. Right click it again and then it'll create a particle accelerator. And as you can see, it just overlaps this one because I've already done this. But, yeah, basically. Anyway. So what we'll do today, so what I'm going to show you is how we integrate it into your particle accelerator. You can use it like this for magnets, just magnets. Um, you can also use electromagnetic glass, like that, which is obviously how they've done it for the instant one. So you can build this like that, as long as it's got a hole in the middle. So, to in integrate it, I originally thought that it was like this. And obviously, I put the power on. Yeah, put the power on. Turn it on. Obviously, put power into it. And it will work. But it did not. So, and then I originally then I thought it was this. Like that. And that didn't work. It just said it was accelerating here. It didn't have the velocity going up, so then I figured out you have to do it like this. Oh, it doesn't really matter. So like this, it's got a hole behind it. Put power into it, and you can use like dirt and it'll create antimatter, which is kind of stupid, but it works. So we'll take you over here where I've already got power set up. So, there's the bat box, and as you can see the power's drawing, going down in it. So, I'll just put this one on. Do that, get the turbine spinning. This is a basic fusion reactor. I'll be doing other videos on the mod, or other things in the mod pack. So, yeah. This should be making the power go up. Yep. So, this is a LHC particle accelerator, and this one's got dirt in it, and it's already made an antimatter. So, switch it on. As you can hear, it sounds pretty cool. The velocity is going up. So, mm, this will basically just accelerate the antimatter. It does drop and then go up, and then drop and then go up. So it's fairly good. It takes about five megajoules, four or five megajoules here to make one antimatter, which is pretty good. And obviously I've got one here. And these are advanced solar generators. Obviously I'll show you other things as well. So these are four of these. Each one is four. But anyway, this has got power going into it. As you can see, and I did experiment. You could use ferns, and you can. And I'll show you. There you go. Spinning using a fern. So this just goes to show the I can't speak today. This just goes to show that you can use any power, be it renewable, um, or fusion, fission reactors, and yes I did say them twice because there are two different types, there's a fission reactor, a standard nuclear reactor, and a fusion reactor, that's pretty different, uses deuterium, 
and obviously the fission reactor uses uranium. So I'll show you mods on them, I'll show you, make videos on them later. So as you can see it's spinning. This one should have made one. Not yet. Oh well this is a bit 6 megajoules. So. Looks like I was wrong. energy but I've never seen it how to you could probably put it back into the particle accelerator and it will make it so let's just spin it up so I've got this one as well um, let's just do that it isn't really fast it's just basic solar generators so I was using cobwebs and I don't think it works very well, I think it just bugs out. Or it may be because of the power source. So yeah, basically this is just a quick tutorial on how to there you go. Just made the animator out of a fern. So yeah. yeah. Show you what the antimatter missile looks like. Obviously I'm not going to launch it, I'll just show you, I'll leave that for another episode. Um, so, yeah, this is what it looks like in your hand. Looks pretty cool. And this is what it looks like in the launcher. So I mean the mod pack's pretty cool. You can create different weapons, missiles, stuff like that. So it's absolutely awesome. It's one of the best mod packs. Thing. It's more complicated than tech it. Um but it is relatively new to the tech neck launcher. So yeah. That was me showing you how to make this. Obviously I'll show you how to make other stuff like uranium and nukes and all that. So um yeah. I've got a series coming out. Another series. I will be continuing on with Tech It with my wee cousin. Um, I've got a server for the vaults, and I've got a couple of friends on it, so we'll see all of us playing that. So, yeah, basically. Well, until next time, I think I will show you the fusion and fission reactors. Probably on the same world as this, but I'll show you how to do it all. So, until next time. Bye guys!